So here I'm going to show you how to find the best keywords for YouTube channels. So this is actually going to be using a tool. And the reason I bring this up is because this is probably one of the best features that come along with this tool. The tool is going to be vidIQ and I'm going to be going through vidIQ's YouTube channel. Ironically enough, I will put a link down below in case you want to test them out. They are a Chrome extension and they have a lot of data. They do have a free plan when it comes to using them. Then of course you can always upgrade if needed, but here's how easy this is going to be to do when utilizing this. So I am on vidIQ's YouTube channel here, and we could always go through and look for like some of the best videos here, but there's one specific feature right here that I want to show you. So if we click on this with the three dots, and all we need to do is click on view trending videos. From here, there is going to be a lot we can talk about, but before we do, you can click on the top keywords aspect. So if we give this a second to load, it's going to give us some great keywords that they are ranking for. Now, I think this could be a little bit better if they showcase like what they're ranking for. But if you'll notice, these are going to be some pretty powerful keywords. A lot of them are pretty much related to YouTube because they are a YouTube tracking software or just, you know, data analytics and so on and so forth. I'm going to exit out of this. Let's go back once again to view trending videos. I think this is where all the magic is going to happen. So as you can see, it's going to show the amount of views per hour. This was a day ago, so naturally it's going to have a much higher ratio. But if you start looking at these, some of these are going to be nine months ago. Okay, this is two months ago. Another one, nine months ago, it's getting 146 views per hour on average. That means that it is still doing well. It is evergreen. It is standing the test of time. We're not going to know if this specific video does well until, say, maybe a month or two, just to see. Obviously, it's going to naturally climb down a little, and then it's going to stationary, maybe stay the same, move down, move up. But when you're looking at these, you want to look for videos that have been around for a good amount of time. I'd say around one month, two months, maybe a little bit more. Anything over that is great. Like These are still too new, which is why the VPH is much higher, but something like this. How to get 1,000 YouTube subscribers in 22 seconds. So I imagine how to get 1,000 YouTube subscribers is a very popular keyword. That is a great one. Given the fact they're probably ranking high for it, they are getting a lot of views for that. And that's always a good thing. So some of these are going to be good and some aren't because a lot of these are mostly like mysterious slash there's a little clickbait in this, these titles I've noticed. So you're not always going to know what the keyword is. Like YouTubers do this and the algorithm will love you. They're like, well, what is it? It's not straight into the point. So Let's see what else we can get. How to get 1,000 subscribers faster. I bet that's a keyword as well. Once again, nine months ago, 54 views per hour. And what it's doing is you're getting all of the best videos here. Like, you know how long it would take to do this? You could sort through and go buy some of the most popular videos, but you don't know if they're still doing well. For example, I've seen videos, look at this one right here, for three years ago. Sometimes video three three years ago might have 1.8 million views, but it might have blown up in the first year. And after that, it just teetered off and did nothing. So this is going to give you that information. It's still getting on average around 52 views per hour, which is very good. Okay, how to make a YouTube short, another great keyword, right? How to get your first 100 subscribers. This was in 2022. You could do it in 2023. Still, once again, it's still getting 35 views per hour, even though it was in the year 2022. I'm sure the information is still helpful. So as you can see, it's very easy to go through. It's just a gold mine. It's saying, here's all their best videos. Here's how many views per hour they get. And if they're going to be a little bit older, that's telling you people are still watching them. And it's just so much great information. I'm going to do this with one more channel in a different niche, just to kind of give you an idea. What I want to do is reload it. I've noticed that if you don't reload it, sometimes the keywords will still show the previous ones. Nevertheless, I love golf. So I just happened to search for like how to swing a golf club or something like that. I came up with Rick Shields golf. I'm not familiar with who he is, but he's got a big channel here and a good amount of videos. Once again, let's do view trending videos. And of course, let's do top keywords in case we want to get some more information about that. Like what types of videos is he creating and ranking for? Like I said, it would be a little bit better if it would tell you the ranks of them, unless I'm missing something. But obviously, a lot of his name is going to be here, even like TaylorMade, Facebook Golf, how to hit long irons and so on and so forth. So you can get a lot of good keyword ideas from this. But once again, the magic is going to be from view trending videos. So uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to duplicate some of these unless you plan on playing against Ian Poulter in golf. Uh, so aside from that, let's look at this. How to swing a golf club, the easiest way. As you can tell, that is like probably one of the most fundamental keywords for golf or like how to you know putt, how to chip, how to swing a golf club. 
It's getting 238 views per hour. I'm not sure if he's ranking number one. I could always look, but just to kind of give you an idea, when you rank for something like that, it's going to do very well. And once again, you're finding some great keywords for your specific channel based upon what other people are already doing successfully. And I know this person has like a ton of subscribers and views and so on and so forth, but you can always do this for a little bit smaller pages. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what some of the bigger ones are doing. And like if they have a lot of videos and they've been around for a long time, it's easier to showcase that. So one once again, three years cheating at golf with illegal clubs, hundred and or almost 150 views per hour. That was three years ago. Six years ago, how to hit golf driver long and straight. How did the golf driver long and straight? So that's been around for a very long time. It's still getting a ton of views. So if you can somehow duplicate that, do your own version of it, give better instructions, whatever it's going to be, that is a phenomenal keyword. And the thing about this, even if you're not ranking in the top, there's so much like search volume for this that you're naturally going to get a good amount of views. So that's something to keep in mind. You don't have to rank you know, number one every single time. As long as there's a demand for it, people are probably going to watch your video as long as it's enticing, it's good, you have a good thumbnail, so on and so forth. Okay. How to get backspin on your golf shots. Okay. That is a great keyword. Once again, five years ago, still 116 views per hour. I think you kind of get the idea here, but this, there's plenty of ways to kind of like manually go through, but I have not seen anything better that will literally allow you to go to anyone's channel and just quickly extract some of the best videos that you can go after in terms of keywords for your own YouTube channel. That pretty much concludes this video. Like I said, if you do want to test out vidIQ, I will leave a link down below for them. They do come with a free plan to be able to use them. And like I said before, I believe this specific feature is a paid one. And in my opinion, it's the absolute best feature that this software has to offer. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.